today I'm gonna actually do a catch and cook. Actually, it's more like a cook cook because I caught the fish yesterday. So today we're actually gonna cook it up. I have a propane tank grill right next to me. I know it looks crazy. I can't wait to show you guys how I'm gonna make this fish. So we're gonna go run around and get the uh, ingredients that I need in order to cook the fish. And we're gonna go to a park and I'm gonna show you how I fillet, um, clean my fish and uh, prepare it. All right, so stay tuned. Thank you, have a good day. When you're cooking your fish, if you keep the scales on, it'll start to puff up as you're cooking it. And I've been through enough trial and error to realize that I don't necessarily want that to happen today. So, I'm just gonna scale it up. All right, so we're just gonna score the sides of the fish. Just get it real. Good cut in. Yep. Score one All right, now we're gonna turn the sucker on. All right, turn it up a little. There we go. Yeah, ready to go. I have a couple of seasonings that I'm gonna use in order to actually uh, cook the fish. And I got some green beans, cause I need something as a side. I have some tortillas as well, so that'll make it easier. And avocado, some cilantro, and some onions. So we're gonna cut that up right now. I'm just gonna do about a half, less than half a stick of water. Let's get it in the pan. As you can see, the pan is definitely hot and ready. I have some Punch Your Daddy Cajun Creole seasoning. It's one of my absolute favorite seasonings. And you really like the heat, you know? It's, it's probably one of the best that I've had. I got it straight from New Orleans when we took our last family vacay. I opened the fish up a bit at the top so I can really get the seasoning on the inside. Got some garlic powder right here. It's pretty light on the garlic. And my favorite, crushed red peppers. This is for those that are brave enough to stand the heat. And we're gonna get this fish on because we don't wanna be here all day. But it's nice. Yeah. It smells really good too, it's really good butter. I took off the tail as well. There you go. 
those in the pan. While we're waiting for him to cook, I'm going to uh, start cutting up the onions and peppers and get it in there as well. We got some fresh cilantro here, which I absolutely love. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So you guys see this fish? Everyone that knows me knows that I always love some heat. So we're gonna get some jalapenos in there. This is the first time I've actually used this uh, fishing knife, out, like the fillet knife, um, outside of actually filleting a fish. And I have to say, really good knife. Okay, so maybe it's a lot of jalapeno, all right? But what can, what, 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 what can I do? What can I do? I love, love, love jalapeno. Put that in there. Not least here we have a little onion. A little onion. I never know when's too much onion, so you know, we'll just get as much onion as we can. How about that? Everything else is already cooking. We don't want to waste any time. There we go. Turn the fish. Oh man, look at that. Gorgeous. It's already smelling good, guys. It's really good. Getting cooked up pretty well here, boys. By the way, I just want to take out the time again to say thank you guys for subscribing to the YouTube channel, man. I hope I'm doing you, uh, doing you right with these videos. Um, I really wish I would have had me catching this fish on tape, man. But I just ended up going with a good friend of mine for a couple of hours. <sighs> you just never know. That's all I can say. This little guy right here has been eating my fish since I got here. And I'm bringing him a piece in a second. Yep, he's probably going right back over. Yep, he is. He's headed back over to the spot. Almost tempted to throw my, uh, my rod in. But I don't think I have anything right now to uh, to uh, do any. Uh, I don't think I have anything prepared to actually bass fish. The water's pretty murky too, which means there's definitely some fish in there. All right, our fish is out. Looks good. Oh yeah. Got the tortillas ready, avocado line. Now we're getting these beans cooked off before my propane tank goes out because it seems like it's uh, definitely uh, dying. So glad I finished using it today. A little salt, a little pepper. Got the uh, greens already prepared in here. All we waiting on now for the fish to finish. Really browning now. You gotta make sure your fish is ready unless you like it raw. And I don't like it raw. All right, so. Now I'm actually getting the meat completely off the bone so I can put it inside my taco. When it starts to fall off the bone, that's how you know you're pretty much ready to go. Get enough in there for each taco. I'm trying to get more meat than like, you know. Cause when you when you cook a fish hole, you're gonna get parts that you don't want. And that's fun cause you just kinda spit them out as you go. But look at that, it was just enough. That's crazy. Whole thing's pretty much ready to go. Add the rest of the element. Guacamole that really sets it off. The best part? Out. Spoke too soon. There goes the bone. 
I was about to say the best part is I haven't hit a bone yet, but it was a little small one. No big deal. I just want you guys to know that I have, I'm having a great time actually making these videos for you guys. It's something I've never done before. I'm always used to going live on Twitch, so this is a definitely a breath of fresh air for me. Alright guys, that concludes my uh, catch and cook for the day. I'm sorry I couldn't get you guys the video of me actually catching the fish. That was where I messed up, but don't worry. I will have better videos for you guys coming soon in the future. Thank you for tuning in to Bear Adventures. This is K-Love, signing up.